Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and I'm here today with Patrick Hernandez, who is a quite notable collector of French firearms here in the United States. And uh, I'm down here doing some photography for the book that I'm working on, and we decided it'd be pretty cool to go through a short little video explaining what all the markings are on these strange French firearms, because I expect you get asked that question quite a lot. Yes, I do. I get asked quite a lot, and I, I kind of understand what the codes mean, and went through them, and that's what we're going to do, is explain them all. Certainly do. So, first off, what is this that uh, that we're looking at? This here, this is the Carabine de Curiosir Model 1892, which is basically Carbine of Curiosir Model 1890. This is what the heavy cavalry troops would have carried in 1914. And this is a damn rare rifle and a gorgeous example of it. So, uh, well, let's uh, get started. Okay. On the right side of the barrel is the letter code for the National Manufacturing of Arms, Manufacture Nationale de Arms, or private manufacturing companies that made the barrel, followed by the year it was made. So this one here was made by Manufacture Nationale de Arms de Châtellerault in 1891. So the manufacturer just has a single abbreviated digit. Yeah, it has a single abbreviated digit. So it depends on who manufactured them. So, but all of them have three letter digits, but it's the MA is always for Manufacture Nationale de Arms. And then you had C for Châtellerault, S for saint Etienne, and T for Tulle. On the left side of the barrel is found the serial number, the numero matricule, which is comprised of a series letter and number, lettre de série and numero, which is either in a cursive script or block letter depending on the manufacturer or the private manufacturing company who made the weapon. Each of the different national manufacturer arms were assigned different letter cursive codes on the blocks of firearms that were made by that particular na national manufacturer. So here we have A, and then it's followed by the serial number. And so they did blocks of 100,000, and then they'd move to the next They'd letter. move to the next letter. So th after, if they were to manufacture this one, it, the next one would be B letter block. Okay. And then we've got a couple other markings uh, above the serial number. What are those guys? Okay, right above the serial number in large letters is either a one, two letter code, which tells you which private manufacturing steel milling or forging firms throughout France and and in some cases, Sweden, who made these. This is called in French, the purveyor de acier. So that's who, so it's telling you who's, who made the steel for the firearm. Okay, so if there was any problem, they could always track it back to the- Correct. The and to the right of the steel supplier's codes are two letter circles that show the controllers who were at the time of the, when the firearm was made. These are called controller stamps, controller poinçons. The first circled letter, is the last name of the overall supervising officer at the manufactory called, commonly called as the director of manufacturing, director de manufacture, when the barrel is made for the firearm. The second circle letter is the first letter of the last name of the final arms inspector, who is also called the principal general controller, controller general principal, when the barrel is made for the firearm. Okay, on the left side of the receiver, you'll find out, see who the manufactured that particular receiver in cursive script and followed by block letters in cursive script, the model designation for that particular firearm. So here we have Châtellerault, model 1890, and followed by M, which is Modifi. That's 1890 for those of us who don't right. yet speak French. So what we're saying is basically it was made by Châtellerault and model 1890. On the right side of the stock was marked a round cartouche called in French as Macron au Rondel, and was marked on it to tell you when the firearms were accepted in service in the military by the Committee of Reception, uh, also called the Reception Committee, called in French the Comité de la Reception. The firearms sometimes could take months to be accepted for service to the military, as the armories had to hold enough to, of them to ship out to the various distributions, especially during peacetime. But during war, they are normally shipped out right away. If it is visible like this one, it is read in the following manner on those that are, were made by the three national manufacturing armories. At the 12 o'clock position is the month that the firearm was accepted by the Committee de la Reception. 
At the four o'clock is the Controller General Principal code, and at six o'clock is the year the firearm was accepted by the Comité de la Réception. And at the eight o'clock position is the Director de la Manufacture, and at the nine o'clock is the letter prefix of the arsenal that completed the weapon. In the center of the cartouche is the letters MA, which meant Manufacture de Arms. And this stamp is often kind of light and often really hard to read. Correct, because they got worn down and they're very, very hard to read sometimes, but sometimes you do get lucky and you do find them out there. And this is a really nice one. Yes, it is. Well, hopefully you guys learned something today. For those of you who are interested in French firearms, hopefully this will be a really good uh, little uh, tutorial on how to identify all the stuff on there. So thank you very much for helping You're us out. You're welcome. This. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And thanks for coming down to Albuquerque. We enjoyed your visit out here. My pleasure. Thanks for watching.